Mega Man this year has had an anniversary. 30th anniversary to be exact. And I know that a lot of people were surprised by this. I was honestly one of them. I thought that they were going to do something like the Mega Man X collection just because they did the Legacy Collection 1 and 2 and it just made sense for them to also do an X collection. Um, they also are doing Mega Man 11. And it's not being done in the same style as 9 and 10 where they go back to the 8-bit uh, style. It's kind of like a... I guess it's like a modernized version of Mega Man. I see you wincing over there. You know what it looks like. You know, I don't think it looks like Mighty Number no. 9. It looks very much like Mighty Number no. 9. It might just be because of, it was just early game footage. Well, here's the deal. I can't tell if it's a sprite, if it's a sprite or a 3D model of Mega Man. I really can't... I haven't looked at it close enough. Which is probably a good thing. I mean, Mighty Number no. 9 is... Op, like, it's not fooling anyone. It's obviously 3D models through and through. Even though the concept art showed sprite work. Like, really high-quality sprite work. So, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't... To me, it looks better. I don't know, Mighty Number no. 9 just looks cheap. Is it just me, or, or, or does he feel like a knockoff? I know that he, he he's knock kind off. of a knockoff. He is a knockoff. Well, he's made, it's made by the dude who's in charge of, you know, the Mega Man series for a long time. So it's it's more an homage than a knockoff, but Usually it just comes... an homage is good. Huh? Yeah. And to me, a, a, to me, a knockoff is like trying to fool people. You think so? Mighty number nine in a nutshell. So, what do you think about what we saw about Mega Man 11? I was conflicted. I liked it. Uh, his design is so confusing for me. Because I... There are times where he looks like his it's his eight bit version, but it looks okay. But then there are times where I want it to be zero. But then there it seems like there are times where it fits for him to be like that, and like his eight bit version. I, I don't really know another word for it. It's, it's not eight bit, but it, sixteen bit. I just it just mean it like him smaller. Oh, oh, okay. I was like it, the the design they have for it looks. I think it looks okay. It, it kind of looks like Smash, Mega Man. Yeah, almost. Uh, a With bit more tweaked. Soulless eyes. Yeah. The eyes of a killer. <laughs> um. It it the way that the the areas look look a bit more Mega Man-ish hmm. than Mighty Number no. 9 did. There's a lot of... There didn't seem to be... I never played Mighty Number no. 9, but there didn't seem to be a whole lot of verticality to the levels, whereas this does have some. About as much as you would see in an old Mega Man game. Right. I think... You know, I kind of feel like you're right. I think the only level that they actually did a whole bunch of like going up was in like the, the helicopter... Uh, power up area but that whole thing was like about like being in the air and going up yeah but yeah um, uh, uh, the, the particle effects look good his little buster good his buster shots look good um, enemies look like Mega Man enemies and then they show uh, a brief one of his power ups in the game, which looks like a it's it looks like a beefed up version of uh, Gutsman's power up. 
where instead of throwing a bunch throwing a block you summon a bunch of blocks to fall in yeah. front of you it looks like like three blocks they fall down yeah. they can affect terrain and they also damage enemies yeah i guess you can like basically call them down as a platform yeah they can blow up like i don't know walls or something i think is what they showed also other than destroying enemies i don't know that the color fits that they went for that one isn't it like a light blue and yellow well i don't really know if it's gutsman for sure if it is Gutsman, then yeah, I mean, he's... Well, no, I'm just saying for, like, that, just, like, very fluffy, light, you know, color palette for what looks like a pretty damaging weapon. Right. Just laying down giant brick blocks. And... Here, I'm just going to summon a house to fall on you. Look like blue. But it's happy. See? No, it's sad. It's blue. It's sad. But yellow is happy. They're dying. <laughs> and then they showed off what looked like a just a nuclear explosion coming from Mega Man's head. At the end of it, I must have missed that part. The, the, the he like charged something up, and then like he exploded, but it was an attack. It looked like something from like, like it looked like like a an armor power up, mm -hmm. but he wasn't wearing any armor power up, and it, he wasn't using an ability. He just he just he was fighting a boss, and then all of a sudden he like jumped in the air and then like exploded, but it did damage to the boss, and then it was just like hmm. Mega Man Eleven. Hmm. And it's been, it has been seven years since they have released a Mega Man game. Any Mega Man game. Um, and it's important that they do this because to me and to a lot of people, Mega Man is the face of Capcom. There's no getting around it. And some people have been baffled as to why it's taken them so long to come around again to Mega Man uh, and not just rely on Street Fighter and Resident Evil to carry their company. Um, and to me, it, it during the stream, this, this 30th anniversary stream, they kind of went into, I guess, how they finally came to the point where they were ready to make a new Mega Man game. I think one of the uh, people, or you know, one of the guys working on the game was like, oh yeah, we kept coming to this point where it's like, wow, it's, it's been a while since we made a Mega Man game. I guess we should make one of those, and then nobody would want to make one. That just sounds really weird to me. I think the reason that they didn't want to make make any Mega Man games is because Kaiji Inafune was the series showrunner for a long time, and he kind of had a falling out with Capcom. It, it wasn't quite as bad, but it was similar to what happened between... Um, you know, Konami and... Oh, gosh, can't think of his name. Is it Ko Kojima? Kojima. Konami and Kojima. It was kind of like that, but not quite as ugly and public. <laughs> um, but, you know, he left Capcom. He started his own his own game series, and I, I think... Or, or uh, game studios, and I think... I think what really probably encouraged them to make a Mega Man game was some people aren't going to like me saying this but the failure of Mighty Number no. 9 like they're just like yeah okay so yeah Inafune can't do this on his own this is a Capcom thing we should be making it not him so I think that actually that might have helped encourage them but I do think it was there was a lot of bad blood um just around the Mega Man property because of because of that, and you know he he also left by the way when they were uh, developing three different Mega Man games. I think there was Mega Man World, there was Mega Man Legends Three, which I was very much looking forward to. It's one of the main reasons that I bought a 3DS in the first place. Um, I kept waiting for the demo because the demo was supposed to be on the eShop once the eShop launched, and then when the eShop launched and there was no demo. Knew there was trouble. And then there was a third Mega Man game. I don't know if that actually had a title to it. 
Um, but a lot of people were looking forward to those other two titles. And then when he left, they were like, okay, well, fine, then we're just not going to do this. And they upset a lot of fans. So, Capcom, if you're listening, I still want a Mega Man Legends 3 game. <laughs> I really want... Do you know how Mega Man Legends 2 ends? No. Basically, Mega Man's on... <clears throat> stuck on, a, on like, a space station. And they're going to go get him. And then that's the end of the game. Nice. Yeah. And you're supposed to, like... The, with the, this third game, you're supposed to, like, play as another character. And, like, I think the point of the game was to, like, go get him. But it just would have been so good, I think. <laughs> the, it still had the same art style, and uh, but just updated graphically. Because it was a PS1 series going to the 3DS. Kind of a big difference. Um, but it's important. This is kind of like, you know, just imagine Sega going seven years without making a Sonic game. Or Nintendo going seven years without making a Mario game. Like, you'd kind of be like, okay... Sega, Nintendo, what are you doing? Like, this is your main property. Your main property. And you haven't done anything with it. Not even a minor game. Like, we're talking, like, imagine, like, no Mario parties or Mario sports games or, you know, Mario RPGs. Nothing on a, on a portable system for seven years. It would kind of be crazy. People would not like it. So I'm glad it's happening. Um, I probably won't get it myself. I don't have that very many Mega Man games to begin with, so. But I am glad that it's happening. Will you pick this up? I think I'm gonna wait. Cause I almost pre-ordered Mighty Number no. Nine, and then I didn't. I'm glad it did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's... With the bad taste. I don't know if I wanted to happen again. Your gamer senses drove you to the right choice. Yes, it tingled. 